All right, you guys, I'm getting tired, and this is another recording. I'd say this is about the sixth recording because uh, the video was it stopped halfway, and it just totally just wasted my whole entire effort. Anyhow, repeating myself, we did up to over here, and we didn't do this one yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and explain through what happened. Uh, so after we find the length, we need to find the angles. So over here, in order to find this angle A right here, you have the 90 degree minus 62, then you get 28. Then you double the 28 over here as well as down here because they're the same angles. Uh, and now over here, these two are 62 degrees from here. These are 62, so these are 62. Then you will add these two up. It's like 124, and then you subtract from 180, then you get 56 as your answer. Once you get 56, you take the 180, 180 minus 56 is 124, which is also the same right here, and then these are the same, and then you just write your answers in. Okay, so now next. Um, uh, <laughs> I already did this one as well, as you can see. So, here. Um, I'm going to write everything up as doubles because it is a rhombus, so everything just double up, everything is the same. And now uh, the middle angle is 90, so everything is 90, 90 all the way around. As you can see, my voice is getting tired because this is just too, mu too much technical difficulty in just one day and I need to go home. Alright, so here we go. Um, so I had previously, my marker is gone. However, okay, so here you go. These two angles, they add up to what? So if this is already 90 and 180 minus 90, how much is left over? 90 degree. So these two must add up to 90. And then 90 minus 67 is what you need to do. Okay, and so that will be 23. Now, if you're not familiar with this um, method, you can always do 67, I mean 67 plus 90, subtract from 180, you'll get 23. Then you double the 23 up on all the sides. Okay, so those are everything, and then after that, you just uh, find out what this side is. Okay, so as you can see right here, you have a right triangle. You have a right triangle right here. You have a 90 degree in the middle. So this is your side right here. X squared. A squared plus B squared equal to C squared. So let's call this X. So I'll write down. Um, 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to X squared. So then it's 25 plus 144 equals x squared, 169 equals to x squared. Take the square root of 169, do that in your calculator or however, think about it. 10 squared is 100, 11 squared is 121, 12 squared is 144, so 13 squared must be 169. So the answer is 13, because 13 times 13 is equal to 169. All right, so since it is a rhombus, Everything is 13. So if this one is 13, this one must be 13, 13, and 13. So from here on, it's easy to answer the question. A to D is 13, B to C is 13, C to B is 13, B to A is 13, M to C is next. M to C, M, A to M is 5, M to C is also 5. Uh, M to D is 12, so M to B is also 12. Angle A, as we have it already, 67, 23, 23, 67, E is 67, F is 23. Alright, A, M, B is the next one. A, M, B is in the middle, so that's 90 degree. Uh, next one is A, B, and C, so here is your A, your B, and your C, which is this entire angle right here. It's Composed of 23 and 23, so you have 46 as your answer, and then following after that, I have DCB, DCB from here to here, 
So it is this big angle, which is composed of 67 and 67. You have 67, 7 plus 7 is 14, carry the 1 is 134. All right, DCA is next. Uh, D, C, and A. So I can maybe use this one, D to C, is right here. To A is up there, so it's this angle, that would be 67. All right, so done. And the next problem, a square, everything is the same, everything is the same, so this one is the same as that one. 7x minus 1, 4x plus 8, they're the same, subtract to get your answer. So 4 right here, subtract 4, 7 minus 4 is 3x. Add 1 right here, you have 9, divide by 3, x is equal to 3. And then you have to plug it back in, so I'll plug it back into this one. 7 times 3 minus 1, 7 times 3 is 21, 21 minus 1 is equal to 20. And sorry, I'm losing my voice. Not voice, but like water. I need to drink water. Mm -mm -mm. There's my water. All right, moving on to the next one. 20, that everything is 20. So make sure that you label everything as 20. And then go ahead and put it in. A to D is 20, 20, and then... Next, the diagonals must be the same. So these two right here are the same. I have uh, y plus 10 equals 3y plus 2. And then I subtract uh, one y over here, then I would have two y's. And then I subtract two over here, then I would get eight. 8 is equal to 2, to 2y, so therefore, y is equal to 4. After you have y equal to 4, you have to plug it into, the, uh, into y. So here's 4, 4 plus 10 is 14, so everywhere would be 14. Alright, so that's my answer. And so finally, I will plug it in. So m to c is 14. And then um, M to B is 14, C to B, yes, it's, oh no, this is an angle. Angle C, B, D is the next one. C, B, and then D, which is this angle right here. It is half of 90, here's 90. Half of 90 is 45. Each of these are 45. That is part of the property of a square. All of these right here are 45. Next one, A, B, D. A to B to D is also a small angle, so it's also 45. And then lastly is A, M, B, A to M to B. In the center, in the center of a uh, square, it is a 90 degree. So um, 90 degree right here. Now, if you want to recall, uh, this is what I said. Diagonals are perpendicular. It only happens in a rhombus and a square. So that's all I have. It's been a very tiring night. And if anybody else would, would like to guest star in uh, a YouTube video presentation of uh, the notes or the review, um, just let me know. And we can make uh, an appointment for that. All right, have a good night.